Yeah, what's up YouTube? I want to make a quick uh, video on how to install a recessed toilet paper holder. Um, I like these better than the wall mounts because the wall mounts will break off. Um, I don't care if you use the fasteners that they provide, it will break off just because of the design. Uh, I just want to make a quick little video. Uh, the way I did it, I put about 22 inches about 22 and a half inches above the ground here, 26 inches right here. And the directions uh, told me to put five and a quarter inch uh, hole on each side, so that's what I did. And um, I pre-threaded these screws right here. These are machine screws. And basically, you wanna basically slip this retaining clip behind the wall um, so it grabs onto the drywall and then at the same time tighten these two screws right here. So I want to do that. I'm going to put the camera down and then I'll come back when it's done. Okay, uh, here we are. Here's the installed uh, full, uh, recessed toilet paper holder. And while that was a pain in the ass to do, a few little tidbits of information. If you can, avoid these. These suck, meaning um, mount it to like a stud or something in the back because they provide two different screws. They provide machine screws and wood screws. I tried using it and the machine screws like stripped out of the back of this and it's just a real pain in the ass. You're back here fumbling with it and it falls down and you can't get it to line up. That was the first problem. The second problem was my wall is not a three and a half inch stud bay it's more of like a two inch stud bay it's more of like an inch and a half or two inch stud bay right here see this this is an inch and a half inch stud bay not three and a half so basically when I tried putting that um, retaining clip in here my wall was not deep enough to hold that retaining clip so I had to cut the little section out here uh, put a little piece of block and then use the wood screws provided with the kit to screw it to the block. That's a better install rather than relying on drywall to hold something in. I, I generally don't like, you know, old work boxes or anything that uh, relies on like drywall to hold it in. It's just not like a permanent kind of secure thing. But there it is. You know, even though it was a pain in the ass and it really gave me a hard time, you know, I there it is. It looks nice and uh, happy I went through that. Uh, thanks for watching.